All right, first graders. So this week, all week, all week, all week, and all week last week, we've been thinking about persuasive writing. And we've been listening to stories that help us think about persuasive writing. Today, we're going to read part two of um, the series that we started last week. So last week, we read the book, The Bad Seed. And we had to decide, was The Bad Seed really that bad? And today, we're going to read about The Good Egg. And you're going to think about what is your opinion what do you think about the good egg? How can you describe him? We have all sorts of words that we can use to describe characters like nice, caring, kind, considerate, brave, loyal, friendly, or mean, cowardly, disloyal, dishonest, disrespectful. Um, so let's read about the good egg and think what kind of character is the good egg and why? Here we go. All right. It left us off where we left off yesterday with Iwana Iguana. But today we're going to read the good egg. The Good Egg by Jory John. From the creators of The Bad Seed, The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. That's pretty nice of him to rescue cat. It's true, I do all kinds of things like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I'll even paint your house. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start. Even in my earliest days back at the store, there were dozens of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. What? That is a problem. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted and my head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. Oh my gosh, and look, he even has a sign that says, kick me. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure that everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg, Peg, Greg, and Clegg, and Shell, and Shelly, and Sheldon, and Shelby, and Egbert, and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. Wow, what do you think is gonna happen next? It's pretty brave of him to leave all by himself. Hmm. I wandered from town to town the hours became days, the days became weeks, and I lost track of time. 
I was alone. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks, I read books, I wrote in my journal, I floated in the river. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends because I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I knew what I needed to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me and I missed them too. Welcome home. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, yo, Sheldon. I shall be. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either, and I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together where a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. <laughs> wow. So now we read that whole book and we found out all about egg. At first, he kept telling us that he was a good egg. And he kind of made it seem like his, the you know, the other eggs that lived in the egg carton with him weren't good eggs. Um, and he was just worried all the time, all the time, all the time about controlling other people and about making sure that they were doing the right thing. And it ended up making it so that he had to leave all his friends. He was really, really too worried about other people. Um, and then he did a really brave thing. He went out on his own and took some time for himself to reflect and think. And then he went back to his friends and it all worked out. So by paying attention to what he said and what he did, what type of person do you think he is? Is he kind? Is he caring? Is he a worrier? Is he brave? Is he loyal? Loyal is someone who sticks by the people that they care about. Um, is he, or is he mean? Is he disloyal? He doesn't stick by the people that he cares about. What do you think? What's one word that you think you could use to describe this character? And then I want you to tell the reasons why. When you say the reasons why, you can use our persuasive writing sentence starters to help you think about it. You can say, you can say, I think he is, and then tell me what you think. One reason is, what's one reason why you think that? Another reason is, what's another reason why you think that? For example, tell me more about that second reason. That's why I think, and tell me what you think again. Remember, persuasive writing, it means convincing. Convincing other people to think the way you think. What do you think? I can't wait to hear what you think. Once you're finished, make sure that you have your parents snap a picture of it and send it to me so I can see what you think and see if you convince me to think the way you think.